Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to memorize uh, the important trig function values. So we'll start by writing down the angles with the smallest first. So our smallest angle will be zero. So I'll use zero degrees. And in radians that's just zero. Then the next smallest angle is uh, 30 degrees. And in radians that's pi over six. And then 45 degrees. And in radians that would be pi over four. And then 60 degrees. And that's pi over three and then 90 degrees, that would be uh, pi over 2. So it's pretty easy to memorize this part, 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, and then these are the angles up here in radians, and they go down, right, 6, 4, 3, 2. So the numbers in the bottom go down. All right, so now we're going to do sine of theta. Okay, and then below it I'll do cosine of theta. So basically you just start with the numbers, uh, start with the number 0. So you do square root of 0 over 2, square root of 1 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, square root of 3 over 2, square root of 4 over 2. Boom, just like that. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you just divide by 2 every time, and you take the square root. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, boom. Then over here, you go backwards. You just start at 4. So you do square root of 4 over 2, square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, square root of 1 over 2, square root of 0 over 2. And that's it. That actually works. That actually gives you the right answer. So like if you were to simplify this one, you would get, let me use a different color, you would get zero. This one would just be one over two. This one is the same. This one is the same. And then this is the square root of two over two, so this is one, boom. This is, ah, square root of four is two, so it's two over two, so it's one. Here it's square root of four over two, so two over two, so it's one. This one's the same, this one's the same, this one's one over two. This one is zero. So again, let me do it one more time for you. So sine theta is a different color. So for sine theta, you just do square root of zero over two, square root of one over two, square root of two over two, square root of three over two, square root of four over two. For cosine theta, you just go backwards. You start at four, okay? So square root of four over two, square root of three over two, square root of two over two, square root of one over two, square root of zero over two. So if you're ever taking a test, it's really easy to memorize this because it's zero, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, zero. So using this knowledge and knowledge of reference angles, you got it, you can do anything. How do you get tangent? Well, to find tangent, you just divide, right? So I'll squeeze it in down here. So for tangent of theta, if you wanted to find tangent, I'll use this information here to find tangent up here. So tangent is sine over cosine, so zero, over 1 is 0. And then the, you would do this over this. You'd have to divide these, right? So you would do 1 half over the square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3, whoops, over 2. So it would be 1 half times 2. So a little more work for tangent, right? You do have to do some math. So you just get 1 over root 3 for that one, OK? This one's pretty easy. You just divide these are the same, so you get 1. And this one, you divide them again, I'll do it over here. So square root of 3 over 2 over 1 over 2. So that's square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. So you just get square root of 3. Okay. And then 1 over 0, that's undefined. So tangent's not as fun as the other ones. Uh, for tangent, you just divide the sine over the cosine. So again, main idea, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Hope that made sense.